Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Victor again. Uh, I'm doing another review of Star Trek Online, just on another ship. The ship is the US is the Avenger fleet, the battlecruiser. This may be a different one than normal because it's a fleet one, but they're basically the same thing, except this one has no consoles. So, I may mean, not have the cloaking device and the torpedo thing, but still the ship is pretty similar. So let's go to space. I'm sorry about the noise again, it's a bug with my computer. I can't fix it, I tried to contact a friend of mine. Just, but I can't change my computer, this is a very fast one. But still, just try to ignore it. So now, the ship. Looks pretty much like the ship from Star Trek Into Darkness, if you put the dark one, the dark hole. But still. Pretty cool anyway, it's a pretty big ship, has a crew of 500, yes, let me check it, 500. Has five, four, five, four weapons and three aft. This good thing has as a cruise. It's basically heavy cruise that move around like an escort, and I can cook cannon, so that's what makes it special. Let me kill myself for something so I can show you it in battle. It's a pretty cool looking ship. Pretty sleek with the warp missiles and everything. Standard Starfleet ship. The fleet one you can have with the warp missiles going down here. Rather low, but I decided to want to keep it Starfleet. Has a basically the basic one has no things, but it can equip the cloak from the Dreadnought and the Defiant. So if you have the cloak from that, then you can put it on this ship. If you don't, well, too bad for you. But you don't really need the cloak, to be honest. I don't have the cloak. It's, it's a fun ship, and I mean it's pretty useless. The cloak you can't use it in battle, not like the Klingon ones. Trying to queue up, but it's not a pretty big ship for a cruiser, but it's a tough ship. You'll see in battle how the nacelles here, it's like a little hatch closes down and all the windows close down. It's like a battle precaution, which is pretty cool. So this ship is the only Federation ship that was battle bred. Yeah. Let's compare it to the size of a fleet assault cruiser. Okay, wait, time to go, so we can. Okay, let's go to engage. But if you look at it, the sizes are pretty similar, actually. Pretty cool. And it's... This thing has... 56 hull. And so does this thing. And this is way smaller, and also can equip more weapons. Waiting for the queue. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking ship. Has a slow like window here like the Odyssey, which a lot of people I don't know why they don't like like this slow space here, but pretty cool to me. Okay. Waiting for the briefing. A lot of ships here. I'm using phasers because it's the best type for this ship. Um, they, they may look different because they're Andorian phasers, but they're still phasers, so don't get too confused. Looks pretty cool. One thing promised that it doesn't have like four tactical consoles, which means you can't use cannon rapid fire three. It's a little bit of a bummer, but you can adapt. There's a lot of weapon slots. Which makes it cool. It's a tough ship as well. All the torpedoes just hit me. I'm oh, fine. Whoop. Wow, I'm the main target. I'm surviving like my Odyssey. Literally. Come on! Why do this effect wear off? Thank you. Good. Sorry about this, just... Tholians have a little bit of aggressive weapons, as we know. If you, if you play Star Trek online. So 
this is what's neat about this. See how this is like closed and this is hatch? Yeah, it's a security precaution. So yeah, we hear each other. You see how everything here is closed, these hatches. Look at this now. See, it all disappeared, everything opened up. It's pretty cool, like, stair safety thing. Like, green show. But yeah, so, this is the ship. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please send down any requests on the comments you want ships. I have, I'll see if I have them, or if my friend has them. Like, cool ships, so yeah. See you guys.